Now we will start with the resource loading and verification process. In this session, we will add the resources to the Gantt, to the plan, and verify what the commitment of those resources is. We have a three-step resource verification process. First, we have to verify that the individual commitment of the resources and the tasks to which they are allocated to is not above 100%. The second step, when we put the resources on the Gantt chart, we can identify the possible problem areas. And step three, we can calculate the individual usage over the project timeline and we can identify the total commitment of every resource in the different time units of the project. When we look at adding resources to activities, we call it activity loading. And in principle, we add the resources uniformly over the duration of the activity. So when we have a resource that will work 32 hours on a four-day activity, the resource will be allocated eight hours per day. Multitasking is today a buzzword. Everybody wants to do multitasking, but it is not always possible, and in some cases, it's not really efficient. People already have been allocated to the different activities when we were estimating their duration in the previous sections. Like I already said before, we have to take into account that people should not be over allocated. Their rate, their working time should never exceed 100 percent of their available time. It is very important when we work with people that the people are motivated because motivated people provide better work, are more efficient and help us to create a successful project. Let's have a look at a five-step resource verification process. Step one, we look at every resource and verify that the resource is not allocated more than 100% to the tasks they will be working on. Step two, we look at the resources added to the Gantt and we try to identify possible problem areas, for example, where one resource is allocated to more than one activity at the same time. And of course, in the case where those activities may be on the critical path, those are really important zones to monitor. Step three, we calculate the individual commitment over time for the resources. Then we try to resolve the issues using some of the possible solutions that we have seen before. And we can call this smoothing or leveling. Smoothing means that we can use the slack that's available in the project to resolve any resource issues. The project duration will not be increased. On the other hand, we talk about leveling. When we resolve the resource problem, but we have to extend the duration of the project. And step five, the last step, is where we will prepare the adjusted planning the final planning or the planning baseline for the project. Let's look at our resource, olive oil. 
Olive is working on the tasks A, B, D and F in our project and we see olive oil is working less than 100%. All the activities are in the clear so the first step is already verified and it's okay, we can continue with the next step. Now we put olive oil, OO is olive oil, on the different activities that she's working on. And we see that activity A and B are in parallel. So here olive oil will be doing some multitasking. Another very important parameter here is that the task A is on the critical path and task B only has one period of slack. Now let's look at the individual usage over the project time. In order to determine, I put the commitment of olive oil in the respective activities. And column per column we add the percentage commitment. So in period one olive oil is working 25 plus 75 percent which is 100 percent on the activity. The same for the period two. For period three and four, it's easy. She's only working on one activity, which is 50%. Period five, she's not working at any task, so her commitment is zero. And for the rest of the project, it is clear that the commitment is also lower than 100%. So this is the principle of resource allocation. We did the three steps. Now the next thing is to find a solution in case there would be an overcommitment. Let's continue in the next session. We will look further into resources, resources allocation, and we will have some exercises and also an application on Project Libre. Keep up the good work. See you in the next session.